What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are showcasing a Gen 8 Pokemon that's actually really cool and doesn't get that much loving on the rank ladder. We are rocking an Akrime team that also features Necrozma and my favorite, Yvelta. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. We got tons of content coming along the way, so you guys do not want to miss out. But two things I want to actually go over before we get started with today's team preview is one, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Dragonair Jordan. My man, thank you so much for uh, leaving this team for a rental code. I appreciate it. And I cannot wait to showcase it off. So link to your channels will be down in the description below. And another thing I want to mention is uh, people have been coming at me recently about not giving team creators the, uh, what is it, the shout out that they deserve. But as I've been telling you guys, mostly all my teams right here are sent to me by fans. And the fans send me teams without the team creator. So that's the reason why sometimes I do not shout out the team creator because I have no idea who makes it. I want to record my videos. I got a job to do, all that good stuff. So if you guys do send me teams, make sure to give me the creator of the team because I would gladly sh shout them out. Lately, give them links in the description below. All that good stuff. Because, like, why wouldn't I do that? So, just want to go over that because, like I said, people are coming at me recently about it. But that's not the case. For but let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in the top left corner. Let's get rocking with Alcreme over here with the Sweet Veil and the Babiri Berry Essence item and ability. Rocking the Baby Doll Eyes. Alongside with Decorate, Protect, and Dazzle Gleam. It's mainly here just to set up that big old attack boost and get my Pokemon rolling out from there. We have Necrozma as our second Pokemon with the Prism Armor. Alongside with the Leftovers as item. We got Trick Room. We got EQ, Rock Slide, Sun Seal, Strike as its moveset. Works very well and is a great Pokemon in Dynamax. Middle left is going to be Yvelta over here with the Dark Aurora alongside with that Assault Vest as an item. Rocket Sucker Punch, Oblivion Wing Snarl, and Heat Wave, another great Pokemon for Dynamax that could do some big old damage. Fourth Pokemon rocking on the squad is going to be Volcarona over here. And Volcarona, it's pretty solid. It is pretty solid. I just feel like there are some better choices than it, but I do like it on this team. We got Flame Body, we got the Cobra Berry as well, Rock and Protect, Willow West, which is probably one of the best moves up against physical attackers. We got Fiery Dance, and then we got Rage Power to distract Pokemon from hitting the, our main target. Bottom left hand corner is going to be another Pokemon that is going to be phenomenal in Dynamax. It's going to be Life Orb Landers with Intimidate. It's got EQ, Rock Slide, Fly, and Protect, which is fairly normal. But like I said, Dynamax in this Pokemon is just so good because you can take Weather Control with your Rock move, you get a Special Defense boost with your Ground move, and then more importantly, you get that Speed boost with that Flying move. Works really well. Such a great Pokemon all around. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Storm Drain Gaston, a perfect counter to Kai Ogre teams with a Citrus Berry and then a great move set of Ice Beam, Earth Power, Protect, and Recover. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, another code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Alcreme Series 12 team. Hopping into our first battle, looking to grab ourselves a nice lovely victory and get this video started off strong. We're going up against a Zacian and Kyogre team, so you guys already know it's al already going to be a little tough. But he also has Incineroar, Defiant Thunderous, he also has uh, Therium Form Landers. Is that Therium Form? It's the other form, it's just a, not the normal Lando. And then Grimmsnarl as his final Pokemon. I feel like Poppin' Trick is going to be solid for us, so I think I'm just going to go out Creme. Alongside with Necrozma and kind of get rolling out from there, he's probably going to lead the Incineroar, which is a little tough. So I might want to go a different route with this one. Let me, let me let me let me let me study my options here. I think this is gonna be our play. I think this might be our play. But the only problem is if he, he has a lot of different leads that can really do do me dirty, right? A lot of different leads that can do me dirty. So do I want to lead Yvelta instead? Maybe try to roll out with that Pokemon. I mean, I gotta bring Storm Drain Gaston in the back end, so that might be my play right here. Storm Drain Gaston, and then last but not least, hmm, Yvelta. Yvelta could be nice, or I can go Lando just for back end support. It's looking tough. It is looking tough for us, but I am going to go Lando just for those Intimidates in the back end. But then he also has that Thunderous, which we do not like. So I kind of want to get Yvelta, but mm. no, we're going to go Landers. We're going to go with our Life Orb Landers. We're going to rock out from there and try to grab ourselves a win here in Battle 1. But you guys know the deal. Before the first battle even starts, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. For question of the day, what off-meta Pokemon should I try to showcase next? Because you guys know I love to uh, showcase some off-meta Pokemon. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. And I love to try to get after that. But who's this guy going to lead? I feel like this battle is going to be tough, depending on who he leads. Let's see. He's going to end up going... Okay, with Zacian and Grimstone. So Zacian and Grimstone are going are gonna to come out here. I could baby doll eyes and trick him here. Could be a solid turn. Could be a lovely turn. That's what I'm going for right off the rip. That's exactly what I'm going for. He might set up a screen, try to go out from there, but that's totally fine. I would actually rather him set up a screen than go for a fake out. So I'm going to try to pop this lovely little trick him. I'm just going to baby doll eyes. I could have protected the Alcreme, but I'm just going to baby doll eyes. I just think it's my play all day. If I, can get, if I can just get off the trick room, it could be huge for us. Cool. He's not faking me out. We're going to go roll straight into a baby doll eyes. I think he's going for like a... What's he going for? What's he going for with Grimstar? A Reflect. He's going to set up the Reflect. So Reflect, come out here. 
That's fine. So Reflect is out and about. He's going to end up going for Behemoth Blade. I have the Babiri Berry ready to roll. We're going to be able to get off a free Trick Room, and then I could just die to max my uh, Mana Chrisma, and I could decorate him at the same time. So that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So he's sitting there minus one. I still did a ridiculous amount of damage. I still did a crazy amount of damage, even with Babiri Berry and being minus one. Okay, so Trick Room's out and about. Uh, Reflect is here, but I feel like after a decorate, I should be thriving. So I'm just going to go here. Go for a... Uh, Max Steel Spike, send it that way, and should be fine, right? I mean, who's he gonna swap into? Maybe Incineroar? Might swap into Incineroar, but I'm just gonna decorate and get off some damage. More importantly, the special or the defense boost is gonna be huge for us. That's what I'm gonna roll out. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he stays in here. He might set up a light screen, knowing that he's gonna go out. He withdraws that and probably gonna go for Intimidate, right? So Intimidate comes out here, makes us minus one. That's totally fine. We're going to pop a nice, lovely uh, Decker right here, make us plus one, and we're just going to roll off from there. Because I do not mind just constantly going for a nice, lovely, uh, nice, lovely Decker right here. Because that's what this combo is all about. That's what this combo is all about. Pop in the Trick Room, out Crit make, go and decorating this boy up. Now we're sitting at, look at that, 408 HP, and we're going to start boosting our deck, which is gorgeous. But all Necrozma coming out here. But all Necrozma. He's going to end up going for a nice, lovely Spirit Break. Does that take me out? No, we eat. Beautiful. But I think it's actually slower than me, which is a little rough. Just a little rough here. We're going to go for a decorate here. And we can go for a uh, baby doll eyes next turn if we wanted to as well. We can go for a baby doll eyes onto the Incineroar next turn. If we wanted to. But we're just going to steal Spike here. Grab ourselves a nice defense boost and take out Grimstarl. Cool. We get rid of Grimstarl. No problem. So that's a huge defense boost. He could fake me out for the KO. I could actually protect it if I wanted to. I could definitely protect just to try to stay in here another turn. But I think we should be fine eating up a fake out. No? Let's see who he goes into. Let's see who his choice of Pokemon is. He is airborne. I gotta remember that. He's gonna go into Kyogre. Who might protect here? Kyogre might protect. Good drop a rock. That's what exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop a rock and change the weather and pop the airborne at some Dropping a rock. I'm not playing games, dude. Not playing games. Drop this rock. We're changing up this weather. We're not having it. So we'll rock it up. Uh, do I just protect? Or do I go for another decorate? I go for another decorate. He's either going to fake me out or go for a pardon shot. Let's see his play. Let's see his play. So we know his team, which is pretty solid. He might Dynamax Ogre, and he is going to Dynamax Ogre. So he Dynamaxes the Ogre. We're going to drop a rock here. We're going to try to just change up this weather. And with changing up that weather, he might actually just go uh, into a geyser and change it back. But I'm totally fine with that. We're going to ne neglect a lot of damage going out. Just by changing the weather. So let's do this. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. We do have Gaston. You have Gash on, which could work well. The fake out's gonna poke here. We are gonna be able to soak that up. We're gonna change the weather. And if he wants to go for another geyser next turn, I might just swap the Alcreme. I might just swap that lovely Alcreme. So we do that, bang, we say bye bye Incineroar. That's such a big turn for us. That's such a big turn for us. And we have one more turn left in Dynamax. So weather gone, and we take out Incineroar. Big old turn for us. Big old turn, and we pop the air. Get that air balloon out of here. We're popping it all day. We're popping it all day. He's gonna go for that geyser. That could hard swap. I think I'm gonna hard swap this. He's gonna geyser and he's gonna chip up some damage on the Necrozma, which Necrozma soaks pretty well. Rather well. Rather well. So Rain is back out and about. Um, I'm just gonna swap and maybe go for that special defense boost. He might protect that. Uh, actually, I could baby doll eyes this turn. Oh, what do I do? What do I do here? I would love the baby doll eyes, I think. I would absolutely adore it. I would adore that. I go for a special defense boost. I think I just double down in this Pokemon. I wish I would love the swap in the Storm Drain. I mean, I would just rather get after Assassin here. He's probably going to protect, but still. I would love to get off a Baby Doll Eyes now that I can't switch, you know? That could be a huge turn for us. So if he doesn't protect, he's going to guard here. He's got to be double protecting, right? He's going to guard here, and is he protecting? No, we do <laughs> We just, we just, it's, this is just going to make us look like a king here. We didn't even read it. We didn't even read this, but it's working out perfectly. <laughs> we didn't even make the read. We just saw Zassian as a threat. So we're going to chip up some damage on Zassian. Not just chip up. Absolutely demolish that thing. Get off some big old damage. Bring it down to like one HP. Get a special defense boost. Alcreme put that thing to minus one. We sit pretty. And I, th and I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. He sacred towards me. We eat that up all day long. Give me my leftovers. Bow number one. Mwah. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful battle. It is a beautiful battle. We love it. We love it. We love it. 
We love it. We love it. We still have one more turn left in Trick Room. And at this point, I'm just going to go for a Sun Seal Strike. Eh, do I? Do I just EQ out? I might just EQ out. EQ and uh, Gleam. Probably my play. I could decorate. I'm just going to Gleam. I'm just going to Gleam, but I think our opponent might cancel this battle. Yep. Battle was canceled. We didn't even need our Storm Drink Ash on. And did we sweep? I think we might have swept. First battle was money. We got to showcase the Necrozma and Alcremite squad to its fullest potential. But we're hopping into our second battle, going up against another Kyogre and Zacian team. But this time, it's probably one of a better one. It's got Zapdos, it's got Incineroar, it's also Rocking Grimmsnarl and Rollaboom. Bunch of meta Pokemon, really strong team. Hopefully, we grab ourselves a win and roll out from here. But how should I actually lead this one? How should I go into it? Gastron is definitely going to come in here, but I'm not going to lead it because we just got to counter up onto that Kyogre. But I have to watch out for that, uh, that what's it called right there. That Rollaboom. That Rollaboom is definitely a problem. You know what? I might just lead Landers, and I might want the Dynamax later right off the bat. I know any of Elta could be solid. I ain't gonna lie. Or I could go Volcarona. Volcarona and Lando? Ooh. Ooh. We could go with a little bit of fanciness here. But I can burn. I can do a lot with that. I wish I did have, like, the Focus Ash on that Pokemon, though. But the Volcarona could be beautiful. Definitely be beautiful. But I'm gonna go in with these two. And then I'm just gonna roll out with uh, Gastro, Gastron in the back end. And you know, probably my play, right? I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But that first battle, we got that nice clean sweep without Creme and Nick Rosemary. And that battle was long and drawn out. It wasn't just like we dominated and just swept right off the rip by like decorating and just one tap and everything. We played that one pretty smart. Got the trick room up, had my Nick Rosemary Dynamax, and just rolled out from there. And we got a few baby doll eyes. Baby doll eyes is beautiful. It's a beautiful move. He's going to go Grimmsnarl and Kyogre here. So we might set up the light chain. He might fake me out. Um, what do I do? That's the real question. What do I do here? What do I do? Because is Landers going to be able to outspeed? This is tough. This is tough. The rain's out and about. We do not like that rain. That Kyogre is doing me dirty. Uh, hmm. I'm going to go Gastro. What's your speed at, Lando? This thing Choice Scarf. That's a that's a problem. This thing would be faster if it's if that thing's not Choice Scarf. It could be huge for us. It would definitely be huge for us. Uh, what do I do? So I could go for the Quake, which I, I'm going to go for the Quake. Say that we have speed on lockdown, and I'm going to swap into Storm Dream. That's going to be my play. It's going to be my play all day. I'm going to say that this Kyogre is not Choice Scarf. I'm going to say he's not Choice. No way. There's no way this thing's Choice. Let's see what he does. He could be. The way he's leading it without a Tailwind or anything. I'm gonna Dynamax because the thing is, if it outspeeds me here, it's just gonna drop a water spout and just rip one into me. Which is no bueno. No good. It is no good. It's just not gonna do us good. So, we're gonna end up going into Lando here. Get buzzing with him. Lando, go first. Just, just outspeed him. Outspeed him. Gonna end up setting up that reflect. Reflect it out and about. Lando, go first. I know it does go first. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get the special defense boost. We're gonna chip up some damage on this thing. So if he's going for a water spout, which we hope, I would rather him go for a water spout. We should be able to soak pretty well. And more importantly, get a nice special attack boost on the gash line. But let's see how he plays this one. Let's see how he plays this one. He goes for an origin pulse. Dodge it, Lando. Dodge it, Lando. Storm drink coming out here because <laughs> origin pulse might be able to take me out. We do not dodge it. Can we eat that? Can't eat it. That's beautiful. Solid. The special defense boost is out and about. That's huge for us. Uh, I could go for an airstream, which I think I'm going to do at this point. And try to get some speed up for that boy. And I think I'm just going to earth power into that slot, right? Do I earth power into the, the Grimstarl slot? Or do I ice beam? Earth power will do a bit more damage, unless he swaps into the, the real boom. But I think we should be fine here. Because airstream should be able to take out that, uh, that Kyogre, no problem. So we'll get some speed here. We'll start boosting up. And this is a solid Dynamax for us. Solid Dynamax. As long as this Airstream takes him out, which it should be able to. It should be able to. Dang, yo, that Origin Pulse was definitely scaring me. I was just like, Lando's dead. He's dead. <laughs> He's going to set up the light screen. Um, like I said, we should be able to take out Kyogre, no problem here. Should be able to just get rid of this Kyogre. Airstream's going to poke here, and cool. We get rid of the Kyogre, just what I want it. But he does have screens up, which is a little bit. Nobody likes screens. But more importantly, we're getting some speed boost for our team. Our team's getting some speed boost. We do have Gastro plus one on the board. But the screens are kind of neglecting a lot of that damage. Lando's going to take some life orb damage. EP's coming out here. Yay. Gashon's going to send it. And chip up some nice damage onto the green. Especially through the light stream. Some nice damage through the light stream. We like it. We like it all day. He's going to send out Roboom. 
Which, I mean, he could just grass glide me if he wanted to. But at this point, I think I just protect the airstream. Right? Protect airstream sounds good. Making Gastro probably faster after that. I can do that. I'm just gonna protect. Protect my lovely little Gastro. But yeah, Robin. Does Robin really rock protect? No, he's gonna Dynamax him. Okay. The Dynamax Rilla. Billy, Billy Booms getting the Dynamax. Getting the Dynamax. And I'm not gonna lie, I think it's kind of scary. Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit scary. We do have the uh, Yvelt in the back end, who is faster than him. Have a Sublidian Wing as well. Could work pretty well. But the Airstream should be able to chip up some nice damage on him. I don't really see Grimstarl being able to take out my Lando. So we're gonna hope that the Robum is going after my Gastron. But there's some big damage, and that just says GG right there. <laughs> that just says GG right there. Battle number two, looking gorgeous for us. We get a crit. We get a crit. I apologize. I apologize to my opponent that we got a crit. I was going to say, we dropped that thing pretty easily, so something was a little sus there. We, we ended up getting a crit, and I feel bad for this guy. Because I know if it was the other way around, I'd be freaking out. I'd be like, oh, this game's rigged. This game stinks. Get out of my face. He's going to end up dropping a spirit break, and he was doubling down or maybe just going after Gastron. But Gastron blocks it. Beautiful. And we have speed all day. We have speed all day. He's going to be forced to throw out his final Pokemon, which if I had to guess is going to be Zassian, right? At this point, we, we, we outspeed a lot. So I might just double down like fast. I might just double down into this lovely little Zassian. Right, do I double down into this little booger? Do I double down into this little booger here? Good. Could definitely double down into this little guy. Gotta go for an EQ, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop an EQ. I'm just going to EP. I'm, I'm doubling down on his Zassian. Zassian's the only problem. He might cancel battle, and he does. There it is, yo. 2-0. We guarantee yourselves a winning record. Let's keep rolling with this squad. Try to grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. We're going up against a Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Zassian team. Another heavy meta squad with Blastoise, Incineroar, Rillaboom. Been seeing a lot of Incineroar, Rillaboom, and then Regilecki as the final Pokemon. How should I play this one? I feel like Trick Room could be solid, but... That boy right there, that Shadow Rider Calyrex, really does my Necrozma dirty, making me not want to lead it. Make me want to just lead the Yvelta instead, just to pose that threat onto that Pokemon, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to end up leading the Yvelta, and I might end up leading the Lando as well. Might end up leading the Lando. Lando could be solid. Lando could be solid. Or I could go Volcarona. Maybe get some Volcarona loving up in here. Not too bad. He's got the Rage Powder. I could do a good bit. I could definitely do a good bit. What's my play? What is my play? Definitely want Yvelta as the lead. Yvelta, maybe Lando? I think we gotta go with these bottom four, right? Bottom four are looking, looking pretty nice. I kinda wanna go Volcarona here. This lovely Volcarona lead. Let's do it. Let's lead Volcarona. Volcarona. Or do I go Gastro? Go there, and I'm just gonna Gastro late, late back end. Because Gastro is super effective off, up against a few of these guys. He is super effective up against a few of these guys. But yeah, I just don't like the Necrozma now. Can I lead? Due to the fact that uh, Shadow Rider College can, you know, just give it give a nice little Astro Barrage and, and pretty much ruin the whole match. So I want to put up a fighting chance here. I definitely want to put up a fighting chance here. Let's see who he ends up leading. Who are you going to lead, kind sir? Calyrex and Regilecki. So Calyrex and Regilecki, good thing I did not lead that. <laughs> that could have been a big, big old problem for me. Big old problem for me. He's going to end up going into... Or I'm going to end up going into Volcarona and Yvelta and... How should I play this one? This, this is tough, dude. This is tough. We are sitting in such a tough position. Uh, I could Dynamax. I do have the Soul Vest. I mean, I could Rage Powder shots as well, but... I might just double down into me. be a problem. I would love the Snarl. I would honestly love the Snarl up against these two. I might do and just Rage Powder the shot. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Rage Powder the shot. I'm going to go for a Snarl here. A little Snarl Barrel. A little Snarl Barrel here. He might end up withdrawing the Calyrex. But he's going to Dynamax the Regilecki. So we're just going to uh, Rage Power this one shot right here. We start starting to get that special attack drop, which is good. Because I do have a Soul Vest on my on your belts, which is huge. And we're just, we're just going to we're just gonna see how it rolls from there. We're just going to see how it rolls from there. Reggie coming out here. So good call by me to go into the Rage Powder. If I could Snarl down and kind of just like prevent a lot of this from, ha from like overwhelming me, we should be fine. But Rage Powder is going to poke here. I don't think an Astro Bot should be able to KO me in one shot, right? He, go, he outspeeds first. So Max Lightning's gonna fly through here. That might count me, right? No, we eat. That's cool. So we get off a nice level eat here. Calyrex is gonna go next. He does get this little electric terrain set up. And he's ready to buzz. He's ready to get after it. He's gonna end up going for an Astro Barrage. So he's gonna get that plus one. I could sucker punch him next turn, which I probably have to do, right? 
I probably have to do that next turn. I give out the soaks. Volcarona goes down there. Snarl's gonna come back here and drop that thing back to normal on special attack board. And more importantly, we're gonna get a minus one onto that Regilid. So that's solid for us. But at this point, I might go into Lando. I might Dynamax Lando next turn. But look at that. Big old damage. We love it. We love that big old damage. The big old damage there, I think we go into Lando and we Dynamax him here. Probably my best bet. Because I can Sucker Punch and try to get after that Calyrex. And then uh, just bring bring out Lando. Right? Yeah, just save my cash down for the back end. I'm digging it. So Dynamax and Lando, we are getting after this one. We're getting after this one. But yo, solid first turn for us. Volcarona was a great call by me to actually bring in there. Set up the Rage Powder and just uh, be able to actually soak up a few shots too. I was able to soak up that, that Lightning. We're just so sucker punch. We're gonna throw it that way on the Calyx, and I'm just gonna send a big old max quake. Big old max quake coming out here. This could be a huge turn for us. Calyx might protect, or he might predict that the sucker punch is coming through. I think he he was uh, ready for the sucker punch to come through last turn, but he was sitting there. He's just like, I have a focus ash. I'm just gonna go for it anyway. And use up my focus ash. That's why I think he was doing. We're gonna end up dynamaxing this Lando, and if this Lando lands a max quake, that 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 red's like he's gone. He is gone. He is a goner. He is a goner. But the thing is here, uh, did he have Zassian on his team? I think he does. Zassian can Behemoth Blade and one tap me no problem. Which is a huge problem for me. Huge, huge problem for me. We'll see what he wants to roll into here. He's going to go for an attacking move of Calyrex. Sucker Punch is going to land. We get rid of the Calyrex, no problem. That's huge. That's huge. So Calyrex is out for the count. Beautiful turn for us. And what is Reggie going for? Reggie's dead. Reggie's dead. He's going to go for a Lightning and try to take out my Yvelta. And Yvelta should be able to soak this, right? A Soul Fest and he's minus one. Love it. So we're able to soak up that turn all day. We're going to be able to absolutely rip into this Regilek. And we're going to say bye-bye to him. You go and get him on out my face. And more importantly, we get a special defense boost. So solid turn for us. We take out Regilek and we take out Calyrex. But like I said, my problem here is going to be that... Uh, it's going to be the Zacian in the back end. Zacian just poses too much of a threat right now. It's, mm, it's, looking, it's looking like it's going to do me dirty. It looks like it's just going to roll in with Behemoth Blade and kind of get after me. Behemoth Blade takes me out one shot all day. So I gotta kind of try to figure out a way around this. But let's see what he brings out. It's gotta be Zassian. It's gonna be Blastoise as well. So we do have Storm Drain in the back to not even worry about that thing. So I'm loving that. So Zassian's gonna be that one Pokemon we're gonna have to put his threat onto and get after the battle that So let's do it. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Bring it on. I could hard swap, but do I really want to. Do I really want to. Could go for a Heat Wave. Could go for a Blue Wing. I might want to go for a Heat Wave and look for a Burn. Look for a Burn on Zassian could be nice. Just guard this shot. Just guard this shot for right now. We shall guard this lovely little shot. We know it's just a problem. We know it's a problem. So a big turn for him would be if he uh, predicts this read. If he predicts this guard and he reads us, I think he wins this battle, right? Did he just do that? He sets up a sub. He sets up a sub. Okay. Sets up a sub. Yvelta's going to go next here. He was going to poke. Can we get a burn? I don't think you can get burned through subs, can you? But this should take out the sub, no problem. Should say AO, see you later, Substitute. Yes. Substitute does fade out here. And uh, Icy Wind's gonna fly. So we're gonna block that, and Icy Wind's gonna slow us down a little bit. I dang Icy Wind. This is scary. This is definitely scary. This is definitely scary. Hmm. We got another Dynamax turn. Uh, do I just go for another Heat Wave here? I should go for Oblivion and try to get some HP back. I'm gonna go after this Blastoids here. If I can get off this Max Quake, we can take him out, but. I might just sub up again. Might sub up. Let's see what he does here. Hemoth Blade's coming in hot. Who's he going after? Is he going after Yvelta there? Or is he going after Lando? He's got to be going after... We just won. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for the win. Thank you for the win. He just went after... My Yvelta. Up again. Instead of my Dynamax Lando. Okay, we just won. Thank you. We'll take that. that that's a winning record for us all day. We're not a winning record. That's a perfect record for us all day. We take that all day. Wow. And we get a crit. <laughs> we get a crit. It was taking him out regardless. That was stab super effective with life orb as well. But yeah, I'm so surprised. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. You can go for Hydro Cannon. That might take me out. So, and we're chilling here, considering we just have the one and only Storm Dragash on in the back end to counter this one up. But there it is, yo. A perfect record for you guys. That's GG's. I'm so surprised. Who does that? I think he would have won. That would have been close. It would have definitely been close. Would have definitely been close. Would have definitely been close. But from here, I'm just going to go for an Earth Power. Rip up into that thing. And then uh, do I, I'm going to go for a Fly. I do not want to do damage to my Gastron. But I think our opponent cancels battle, right? No, he does not. He's going to let me stay in here. Have some fun with this one.
She's gonna let me have some fun with this one. Blast waves must recharge. We're gonna go for an earth power. Gonna send it that way. Yeah. Chip up some damage. And oh, he couldn't he couldn't run that, that turn. He could not run that turn. Because he was recharged. So he didn't even get the option to run. <laughs> he didn't even get the option to run. We're just gonna drop another earth power. Then he's gonna drop a nice little fly. And I think he runs this turn, right? Does he cancel? Cancel the battle? Give me the winning record, or are you gonna let your blast waves die just fly? Unless you're protecting. Which would just be a waste of your time, kind sir. Just be a waste of your time. He lets the fly come through here. That should finish him off, right? I should say GG's. Yes, sir, yo. Perfect record. Absolutely dominated with this Alcreme in the Charisma team. What a set of battles for today's video. Grab ourselves a perfect record and pretty much showed off every single Pokemon to their fullest potential. I want to give one last huge shout out to my boy Dragonair Jordan for making this team a rental code. Link to all of his socials and his channel will be down in the description below. But guys, that will be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos are live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.